Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Lush haul for you. So basically I bought a few things from Lush Kitchen and I also picked up a couple of the brand new products that I didn't pick up in my last haul. So yeah, I'll just get straight into it. I'll start with the brand new products that are part of the permanent range. This is one of the jelly bombs. This one is the one that I didn't manage to get in my last haul because it still said coming soon on the website when I ordered my other jelly bombs. Um, this one is called Marmalade, I believe. So this is Marmalade Jelly Bath Bomb, which is probably the prettiest of the jelly bombs. This has got a, like a little orange segment on the front, which is quite cute. I'll be honest, it smells a little bit strange. So this has got grapefruit oil, Brazilian orange oil, orange flower absolute, and an orange slice in there, apparently. I don't know if it's just the grapefruit that's giving it a really strange, like, bitterness. Not quite as orangey and, like, sherbety as I was imagining. It's like a really bitter orange scent. It's kind of growing on me, but we'll have to see how it smells once it's dispersed in the water. Next up we have a very gimmicky product, which is something Lush do particularly well. Um, this is called, oh it doesn't quite spin, oh it does kind of spin. This is Bubble Spinner, which is a reusable bubble bar shaped like a fidget spinner, as those are currently still all the rage, I believe. Um, I have to admit it is quite a bit smaller than I was imagining. Um, the reusable bubble bars are usually a bit bigger than this, I feel. This is quite small because I think this was about five pounds, but I'll have to see how many baths I can get out of that. Ooh, wow. Mmm. Ooh, that actually smells really, really good. So this has got lime oil, lemon oil, and grapefruit oil. I think it's because of the lime oil, it doesn't have the bitterness that marmalade has. It's really zesty and sweet, and it smells it's not the same as Calacus, which is my all-time favourite, but it does have that nice lime scent to it. Which I'm very much a fan of. Yeah, this is Bubble Spinner, which is pretty damn cute. Onto the things I got from the Lush Kitchen. I bought four items, I believe. The first up being yet another shower jelly that I really didn't need. But this is one that I've wanted to try for ages, and I never, I've never picked it up in the kitchen before, but it has been in the kitchen for a few times, I don't know why I've never got it before because it just sounds like something I would love. This is the Party On Shower Jelly and it says it's a psychedelic looking lathers that are supremely invigorating to keep you going until the small hours. And this has got rosemary infusion, fresh mint infusion, lime oil, rosemary oil and juniper berry oil. And it just looks so pretty. It's like yellow and green and it just looks awesome. Ooh. Oh wow. Has that got like some kind of menthol crystals? Oh yes. That is good. It smells a bit like Vicks Vapor Rub mixed with like a lime cocktail, which kind of sounds gross, but it actually smells really, really good. I think I'm gonna have to save that for when I'm poorly because I just love that kind of menthol thing when I've got a stuffed up nose. But as you can see, it's like, oh shit. It's like green and orange and awesome. Oh, that smells so good. That is definitely a win, although it has somewhat leaked in the package, which I do find that happens quite a bit with the shower jellies. What else did I buy? Ooh, okay, again, this is one that I've wanted to try for absolutely ages that I've never managed to pick up before. And this is the Marzibane Bubble Bar. Crumble under running water and enjoy the treasure trove of sweet and nutty bubbles that unfurl. Relax as you soak in delicious marzipan scented waters as they rouse nostalgic butterflies from within. So this has got whole almonds, um, benzoin, resinoid, Cassie Absolute, Rose Absolute. 
worth it a bit. Let's have a good sniff around of this one. So this is quite a plain and simple bubble bar. It's just got um, an almond on the top. Oh my god. And it does just smell like marzipan and nuttiness and oh just so comforting. It smells a little bit like the yellow fun but not so vanilla -y. And I like that this is quite a big bubble bar as well. Oh that's good. What else did I get? I can't remember. This is the Still Life Bath Bomb, which I'm starting to think maybe I've used before, but I can't remember. But this has got lemon oil, bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil, sunflower petals, gardenia extract, and marigold flowers. Maybe I haven't used this one before. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I feel like the lemon oil just works really, really well with the floral scents. Beautiful. And then the last one that I bought is another bath bomb from Lush Kitchen. Is this, a, is this a bath bomb? This is huge! I thought this was a bubble bar then. So this one is called Happy Pill. Um, this says drop into the bath and watch the colours swell as the sun rises, leave your worries behind and seize the day. Which is kind of how I feel I need to... That, that sounds like it suits my current feelings, to be honest. This has extra virgin olive oil, hemp oil, grapefruit oil, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, Sicilian lemon oil, orange flower absolute, Sicilian mandarin oil, and gardenia extract. Oh, that is a lot. No wonder it had to be so big. This is a huge bath bomb. I feel like you could definitely get two baths out of that. Like, that is massive. Huge. I mean, it's not very thick. Well, it's still, I mean, it's pretty heavy. That is huge. Oh. Oh my God, that smells good. It smells really good. I can't describe it. It's sort of fruity, but then also kind of masculine. I cannot wait to try that. That smells so good. So that is everything that I bought. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.